Hi, my name is Danielle Dickinson and I am a first year grad student in physics and astronomy at Purdue University. I completed my undergrad at the University of Arizona last spring where I majored in physics and astronomy and minored in mathematics and Spanish. One of the most fun things I did in my undergrad was work at Flandre Science Center and Planetarium, which was on campus. And it was a job where I was a planetarium operator and science center interpreter, so I could talk a lot about science and make a little cash on the side for tacos every single Friday night. As a graduate student, I am provided a stipend that covers all of my living expenses, and in return, I have a responsibility to be a teaching assistant. So right now, my current goals are to succeed at my classes, to be a great teaching assistant, but I still want to be involved in astronomy. So I'm going both in the experimental and theoretical paths, observing, staying informed in the field, and also dipping my toes in computational astrophysics to get a sense of the field. So much of astronomy is extreme astrophysics, and even when you're not talking about stars or black holes or anything, the concept of going to another planet is so extreme, and it's so interesting and difficult, and that's why I think I like astronomy, is I like problem solving. I like doing these wild things that appear in, in sci-fi books. So studying astronomy is just another way to do something that is just really cool and really exciting. I am super excited about the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope because my research in the past has been all in optical astronomy, that is astronomy with wavelengths of light that we can see. JWST has instruments that are in the infrared, which is redder than the red that we can see. And it's an exciting opportunity because if you've seen Back to the Future, JWST is the closest thing that we have to a DeLorean. It's a time machine. We'll be able to see farther into time, deeper into space, to uncover all of the mysteries of our universe.